Hi everybody, so in video 1987 we made this thing, it's a cycloid gear and the sort of overtaking planetary gears for very good reasons. Now I got this from Thingiverse and it's an 11 to 1 gear reduction and I printed it in PLA. Because of the way they're designed they spread out the forces so they're much more suitable to 3D printing than giving long lasting gear sets by 3D printing that you just wouldn't get with ordinary spur gears and of course that's what attracted to me. Uh, me to it. Now I don't really understand them so I printed down a model so that I could actually play with it because of course I learn by doing it's just the kind of guy I am and I do like that but if you remember we also made this. This is a magnetic gear set. Now the gear ratio on this is three to one because we've got two pole pairs at the center and um, six pole pairs on the outside. Six, yes. And if I spin the center, then it'll spin that inner magnet ring. And the benefit of this sort of stuff, again for 3D printing, is um, there's no parts that impinge on each other. But there's an issue with uh, magnetic gearing, and that is torque. When the torque gets too high, they slip. Now that can be great in something like a wind turbine application because it kind of acts as its own sort of safety feature, its own brake, but it's only a 3 to 1 gear ratio and is subject to slippage. So, wouldn't it be cool if we could combine those two to remove that problem of slippage? And the reason I say, wouldn't it be cool, is because that's exactly what I've done here. Here, this is a magnetic cycloid gear of a gear ratio of 12 to 1. It's 12 to 1 because this outer ring here has 26 magnets in a north-south, north-south arrangement, so we've got 13 pole pairs. And if I take out the center piece, there we go. We get an inner magnet ring where we've got 24 magnets or 12 pole pieces. So the gear ratio of this is 13 minus 12 over 12. So it's 12 to 1 gear ratio. And it sits in there with a center shaft just like this one. So if we take this one apart, there we go. We have that with the pins and the lobes sitting in the center. So we're doing exactly the same thing. But instead of having lobes, we've got two distinct circles and a bunch of magnets arranged around them. Now when this works, what it does is turns a cam and the cam is right here. Sorry, gotta take this apart. There we go. There's the cam, it's got a little cam on it and that cam turns that making it move around in a cycloid. This has exactly the same thing, it's so right there, a cam, and then the output plate, they're identical. So I've made a cycloid magnetic gear train, and there it is. Now if I turn that, what we'll do is we'll get a rapid turn of this and a 12 speed reduction here on the drive plate. And the best way to see that is to watch one of those holes. I have provided the Tinkercad files for anybody who wants to reproduce that and the link is down in the description so feel free. Now the benefit of something like this is well there's no real rubbing parts and so they can be made out of plastic and it'll last virtually forever ideal for 3D printing. The gear ratio is 12 to 1 which is crackers for such a small package and it's able to transfer the torque that much better because although I've got a half a millimeter of plastic to hold these gears in, that was only because it's the prototype and I want to be sure they don't pop out, but the magnets are touching each other. And of course, a magnetic field is at the square of the distance. So the strength those magnets have on holding each other is much, much stronger than something like that. And so it's able to transfer much more of the torque than this more traditional design. Now, this traditional design of course even if it weren't printed out of plastic if you made a beautifully machined version you still have an air gap and that air gap is necessary to make sure that the machine works on something like this an air gap is completely unnecessary you can actually touch those magnets against each other and give it a bit of spray grease and you're off so we've got 
a device that is much stronger at transferring the torque is small is able to um, have high gear ratios in a tiny container and yet still work beautifully so I'm, I'm quite pleased about that anyway I'm absurdly pleased with myself for having done that but there we go one magnetic cycloidal gear that is uh, I think really worth having but the Tinkercad file is there. Help yourself. See what else you can do with it. I have, do have other thoughts on this. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.